Oh, look. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, man. There we go. That is it. Okay, guys. What kind of stator does the Fantic XE300 have? That's what we're going to answer today, guys. Um, if you haven't been following along, uh, which would be crazy because it seems like most of the internet is, we've got a 2025 Fantic XE300 here in the United States. I believe it's the first XE300. It's not the first Fantic, but I believe we got the first XE300 fuel injected 300cc two stroke electric start throttle body injected electronic power valve uh, guy. So yeah, anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty rad. Uh, I have yet to take it into the dirt yet. Um, well, actually by the time this comes out, it will have been in the dirt yet, but the video won't be out yet. So anyway, I'm here to talk about what's going on behind that cover, uh, because that is a big difference between this and a YZ. Again, if you don't know, this is heavily based on a YZ, but it is not a YZ. This is not a Yamaha motor. This is a Minarelli motor. Um, heavily based on one, but it is not YZ. You can see it's got a hydraulic clutch. Um, the clutch on the inside is a lot like a YZ. Um, I've seen the picture of the parts fish of it, but we'll be getting into that too. I just don't want to drain the oil and all that stuff right now. So I will be taking this off. Um, so let's dig in and figure out what's going on inside there because a lot of guys with YZs would like to run lights or a fan or something like that, but they don't really have an option for that because... Um, there's no stator that puts out enough juice. This bike comes with lights, a fan, and electric start, and I think it makes enough power to do all that just fine. I guess we're going to find out as we go <laughs> through life here, but um, yeah, let's dig in. Really hope there's no oil behind here. Doesn't seem like it. I don't see any oil running out yet. So that's a good sign. Okay. It's being a pain in the butt, but I think that's because the stator is bolted to this cover <laughs> instead of underneath it. Uh, that is definitely different than Yamaha. The reason that would be doing that is because then it's magnetized. The cover is magnetized in the thing. All right. I gotta grab some tools. This thing is on there. That is a hell of a magnet. There we go. All right, guys. There it is. There's the answer. That's crazy. That is what's in there. That is nuts. Ah, that's seriously crazy. Cause so if you know anything about Yamahas. Normally, uh, the stator goes onto the case and then the flywheel goes over the stator, limiting the size of the stator quite a bit. And that's why you can't get a high output stator on a YZ. Um, I know Cody Webb is struggling with that right now with his YZs because he wants to put a fan and electric start and be able to run that all. And it's anyway, struggling with that. It's not working out so good. Uh, yeah, because the stators that are available for YZ 250, two strokes, um, are very limited and that's because of the size. So they did something crazy there. That's cool. They inverted. This is more like a KTM, uh, more like a four stroke, really, uh, having the stator out here. So you guys can see this is the pickup coil. Um, I don't know which ones are going to be the exciter, but they're going to be exciter coils for the ignition, I believe. Oh, well, actually, no. Mm, let's see. Okay, that's interesting. So I can't tell for sure, but it looks like it looks like there are two sets of coils on here. If you know anything about stators, anyway, this is not all one coil of wire, and it can be, but it's not, and it's not 16 coils of wire either. Um, so it looks like we've got pickup coil here, and then it looks like we have two sets of coil. There's four wires going in here. 
Um, so one would be a charging set of coils and one would be maybe the exciter coil for the ignition, which that's going to mean that this thing would run without a battery, which we are going to find out. I can't do it yet because my hand being like this, I can't push this thing on the flat ground fast enough to then jump on it and try to bump start it without the battery in it, but we will get that done. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to find out if this thing will run without a battery, if it will bump start because it doesn't have a Kickstarter and all that stuff. But I'm kind of leaning towards maybe it will because it looks like there's two coils of wire on here, which would mean, again, one charging, one uh, ignition. So pretty sweet, guys. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. That is nice. And that's a really nice looking part. Everything looks good. Uh, it does not look Chinese at all, which I like to see. Um, I hear that this thing is all Athena. Oh, look. Oh, ha, 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 Oh, man. There we go. That is it. Okay, guys. This could mean something for Yamaha in the future, guys. Oh, this might be super exciting. So, I don't know. Let me see if I can find... Uh, Flashlight, here we go. Oh, and everybody who's whining about the movement of the camera, sorry, this is how it rolls. I'll do my best to try to keep it calm, but anyway. So, if we look right in there, that says B7R01333Z Yamaha, right there. Yamaha, right on the stator, or on, excuse me, on the flywheel. That is super interesting, guys. I don't know. And this is B-A-K-O-3-3-Y-T. I'm guessing this is a Yamaha stator. <sighs> big news. That is big news, guys, because and here's why I think it's big news. We know that Motor, Moto Minarelli built this engine. I can tell you, for, I mean, like, there's a lot of things that are not Yamaha. Well not YZ250 on this thing. And everybody knows that it's a, anyway. But that ignition saying Yamaha on it is a big deal because that might, might, might just mean that the YZ250 is gonna get an upgrade of a stator. And I don't think that is the same flywheel as on the four strokes. I don't have one here right now. Well, it's an older four stroke, but guys, that's exciting. Super exciting. So, all right, well, there we go. Now you know it's behind the stator cover of a Fantic XC300 and it is Yamaha parts. That's nuts. Oh man, I'm excited. Anyway, <laughs> this is really cool, guys. I'm so excited about this motorcycle. Um, yeah, it's, it's honestly, if you're a YZ250 guy, you've always dreamed about this maybe. I mean, there's a bunch of guys out there that don't want any change to the YZ250 and I get that and that's awesome and whatever. I think they should build them as just dirt bikes uh, with a kickstart and no, you know, just carburetor or whatever. But I really do want to see Yamaha up their game into the enduro off-road hard enduro world with a fuel injected kick or electric start, all that cool guy stuff. And this is what this is, but it's Fantix. So, but that means that maybe, 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 just maybe Yamaha is working on some stuff. Anyway, guys. Thanks for joining me for this uh, video. I hope you guys are liking all the videos on the Fantic. Uh, if you want to buy a Fantic, there will be in the description, there will be a link to um, the guy I bought the bike from in Romania and the guy who shipped it to me here in the United States. So um, if you're interested, do it. I've already had a few people doing it. Um, there's actually guys shipping them to me so I can build the bike out of the crate and get it ready for you and they can pick it up. So if you want to do that, let me know. Uh, obviously, that's not free, but I'd be happy to take care of that and also uh, take care of any of the little things we're finding and fixing early on these things. So anyway, guys, that's rad. Very excited about that. Well, uh, we'll see you on the next one.